Google told us the weather was going to be sunshine all day today, but it is Seattle. We woke up and it was clear skies. You could see the city, you could see the mountains in the background. By the time we got ready to walk the dog and walk downstairs, we were covered in fog. Yeah, cloud, fog, mist. It's crazy. Fogginess. Fogginess. But today, hopefully it clears so we can see all of the Seattle sights, starting with Starbucks Reserve Roastery. Which I'm super excited for. We're staying at the top of Capitol Hill and as you descend lower down into the city, the smoky breath comes. It gets so much colder. I like it. So we just learned that this coffee roasting house was yeah. the first one ever for Starbucks. And they do so much volume here that they're supplying like parts of Southeast Asia, Central America, South America, and the entire country of India. How insane is that? And it's all coming from this place right here. They did two million pounds of roasted coffee last year. Two million pounds. I can't, how many elephants is that? even picture that. Elephant's the heaviest thing I can think of. So I read online at their website that if Willy Wonka was to go into coffee, this is what he would have created. It's just nuts here. They have the huge vats of coffee that they're roasting. There's an entire like espresso cocktail bar. Like every coffee cocktail you can think of is made there. An entire Italian pizzeria, bakery, cannolis, everything. As well as like an experience bar and just regular coffees. It's so overwhelming, but very classy at the same time. Willy Wonka is all bright colours and oompa loompas, whereas this is like jazz music and cedarwood. And... It's so big, when you enter, you get given a map that looks like something from Harry Potter to show you around the whole place. There's a library. There's a library in here as well. That's a library. Ethiopia, quite a good size. Not a coffee expert, so it just tastes like a nice iced coffee to me. I think it's really cool that they give you this. They also have them all displayed on the wall so you can see like every option possible. So not only does it tell you where your coffee is from, but it gives you some cool facts on the back. And I didn't realize this, but Ethiopia is the country that discovered coffee. A thousand years ago, a goat herder whose flock grew energetic while eating from an unusual shrub. <laughs> How crazy. Really strong, really, really strong coffee. Ready for the day now. Yeah, next thing we're doing is actually trying to steal something, <laughs> but legally, walking out without technically paying. It's really cool, we saw it on YouTube as well. It's gonna feel like we're stealing something, but we're not. We're, yeah, no. <laughs> Now we don't have a SIM card, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but we have come to the Amazon Go store, which is like a no employee walk-in, walk-out store where you check out just through AI somehow. I just clicked enter. <laughs> this is so weird. What do you wanna steal? Somehow tracking us. We are now in store. Somehow all of these machines above our head are tracking us and we'll determine what we pick up, put back and charge us just as we walk out. Which seems so crazy to me. What do you want to grab? It feels like we're stealing. 
How will they track baked goods without a barcode? You take it out as well. Let's walk out without paying. Now it's like we walked out behind him. How will it know that it's us, not him? Feels like we just stole. That is weird. It's such a weird concept. I wonder if that will work. Will we be charged for the baked goods? Will the guy that went out before us be charged accidentally? <laughs> will this whole shop concept take off and be the way of the future? So weird. But just down the corner is something equally as weird yeah. in my mind. <laughs> are the Amazon spheres which is where people work and we really wanted to go in but they're only open to the public like the first and third Saturday of each month and you have to book at least 15 days in advance to be able to go in. From the photos I've seen online and like looking through the windows it's kind of giving like Changi Airport vibes and there's also like a community banana stand out the front which seems weird but I think you can just grab a free banana. Any Amazon employee is allowed to just go in and work from there. So it's not like assigned desks or anything. You just, if you want to work from the spheres, you come and work from the spheres. How, How cool, cool is that? And you get free bananas Monday to Friday. <laughs> Perfect. We just had one of the nicest security guards of all time tell us that we weren't allowed to film at the spheres, which is fair enough. So we've just come up to the street and we can see our next destination right in front of us. Probably the most iconic thing there is here in the whole city. We are still on a budget though, so we will be enjoying the view from the outside <laughs> and not going up. We cannot afford the 30 something dollars it's going to cost to get up the top there, so we need someone to tell us it's not worth it. <laughs> Please. $32. That would be over our budget just for one experience. Okay, good decision not to go in. I read online that the idea of the Space Needle was that it was going to be to Seattle what the Eiffel Tower was to Paris. Kind of is, like iconic. I got an email. We were in the Amazon shop for 6 minutes and 50 seconds. They're working on our receipt. I hope they got it right. <laughs> or I kind of hope they didn't get it right. That'd be more exciting. I yeah. feel like they definitely got it right. You wouldn't release a product like that without making sure it's yeah. accurate. The Space Needle was built in 1962 for the World's Fair. Guess how much it cost? 1.4 bill. 4.5 million dollars in 1962 and then in 2018 it was renovated. Guess the cost of that? 6.3 mil. 100 million dollars. And it's privately owned. Wow, money bags. Can imagine just being like, oh yeah, my family owns the space meal. <laughs> Turns out there's a lot more than just a space needle here. This is like a science center thing. They've got laser domes and I think I saw like an IMAX movie theater. I think we need to go this way to like the Olympic sculpture park thing. Okay. Oh, you can see all the tiny people. So we've come to the Olympic Sculpture Park mainly because it's on the water and our next goal is to kind of walk along the coast but I didn't think we would be treated to the views of the mountains and the ship and all the sculptures around here are pretty cool so it's a perfect place to have a little bit of a picnic from our Amazon Go haul. Technically a free donut because the charge hasn't come through yet. This is very good. I had so many donuts in America. Yesterday we spent way too much money on our food tour, so today we are trying to spend as little as possible. We've had the coffees, we have these, maybe one or two other things that'll cost money and hopefully that's it. 
So this is lunch. Dinner will probably be two minute noodles. <laughs> she says that, but she also got the most expensive packet of chips known to men. Let's see if we can find the water. Or Found get... it. I see found if... it, it's right there. See if it's we can... actually right over there. The water, I found it. <laughs> see if we can get down to the water. thing on our Seattle tour list is to go and see these houses that are like covered in flowers. Don't know why, but it, <laughs> it looks pretty cool. But to get there, we have to walk all the way along the coast till we get to a water taxi, which will take us across to that side of the bay. Yeah. Water taxis are cool. and it docked in this pier and it had a ton of gold on it. One ton of gold. That's so much gold. No, this one may be number two. That's cool. Done. Oh. <laughs> was very very unexpected but pretty cool then we got like another five minute walk to get to the wharf where the water taxi should leave from go check that out turns out the water taxi to Alki is about double the price that we were expecting to pay so we're gonna put the budget first call it a day but we've had I've had a great day in Seattle weird miners landing seeing the little space needle guy I think just go home, cuddle the puppies, eat some ramen. Ooh, actually I have leftover mac and cheese. I'm gonna eat that. 